Hey guys, this is Top Gun from Toys to Men, and today we have a review of Transformers Classics Optimus Prime. I got this figure off eBay for about 25 bucks the other day, okay? And uh, I'm seeing a substantial price uh, drop on these, and I'm not really understanding why, but for right now I'm going to go ahead and pick them up. Here's the deal I got it as is. This will not be a complete review. I'm not going to transform into a truck. And for the one main reason why is because, you know, I did not get the accessories with this guy. I know you guys right now are thinking, well, you know, why would you buy an incomplete figure? But the simple reason why I bought this figure is because, well, for one, this is probably one of the best Optimus Prime figures that has ever been made. Maybe even the best. Okay. The size is very, very nice. The weight is very, very nice. Very, very quality figure. Uh, the G1 face to the max. This is absolutely G1 Optimus Prime at its finest. I mean, perfect, you know. Uh, just very, very, very awesome figure. I like everything about the figure. It just reminds me of, of my childhood when I look at this guy. And uh, it's refreshing, I guess, to have a character or a, a toy made that looks very very G1 uh, and and it just lives up to the G1 name. I'm, I'm proud to say that it looks like Optimus Prime. Now as far as the yellow goes not liking this yellow at all but I have heard that if you use some kind of paint thinner or something it will remove it. So for the time being I put these down and I think it looks nicer that way than it does with the yellow sticking up here. Now, I don't know if it's worth trying that or not, but I have heard people say that they have used uh, like nail polish remover or something like that and it comes right off. So, you know, that, that might be a possibility and that is something I may be willing to try. If you could leave some comments, let me know if that's something that actually works. But otherwise, um, this figure's articulation is pretty good. Uh, he has, you know, the 360 motion here. Of course, he's got that those nice Transformers Classic joints that just stay tight, you know, unless they're absolutely just demolished when played with. Um, I'm assuming the the posability of this figure would be pretty good. I can imagine you could put him in some pretty cool uh, poses. He's got complete you know it's sparta kick you know what i'm saying just nice 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 movement in the legs um i'm just digging everything about this the paint apps the size the look this figure is awesome i mean i got him for 25 dollars yes and partially because he did not have his his accessories but let me tell you what and this is and this is something i found before i purchased this figure and uh i do have one ordered and it's supposed to be here uh, I have found that on eBay, out of China, of course, you can buy like the G1 Optimus Prime Blaster because the guns that come with this figure not really, I don't really care for anyway. Uh, you know, big and bulky and just not real cool looking in my opinion. I mean, I love to have a complete figure as you know as much as the next person, but in my opinion. You know, I'm never going to put this guy into semi mode. He's always going to be displayed in robot mode. So, like I was saying before, if you get on eBay and look up, you know, Transformers Classics Optimus Prime Blaster or Rifle, whatever you choose to put, it will actually bring up his G1 style blaster. You can actually get it in like gunmetal or you can get it in black and it's made of metal it's a it's a real metal gun for the figure and it fits just for this figure it fits right in his hand and it's like i said it's the g1 style blaster now a figure that looks at this g1 now i figured to myself if i can pick him up for 25 bucks because he usually goes for 60 all day long i figured why not go ahead and get this g1 blaster and uh you know have a real you know real real the life g style uh, g1 style optimus prime i just thought it was a uh, very very cool that that accessory was available and that is really the only reason why I went ahead and purchased this figure as is uh, like I said the figure is awesome if you've been thinking about getting this guy I highly recommend it if you have been wanting one for a while 
or if you're just new to trying to start to collect the transformers or if you've done you know the fall of cybertron and, and war for cybertron waves and thinking about getting a little bit older with the with the figures you go after i highly recommend this guy go to the top and and so's the classics megatron that i have also reviewed um I suggest you get this guy. Yeah, this guy's a perfect 10 for me. I don't really see... Besides the yellow, there's nothing that I can say about this figure that I'm not liking at all. Um, perfect figure. Very awesome. Uh, I cannot wait to receive that third-party uh, G1 Blaster-style accessory for him. Uh, I will go ahead and throw up a video when I get that. So, if you like this review, stay tuned for that. I'm going to be showing what it looks like with the G1 Blaster. And uh, when I do receive that G1 Blaster, I'll give you some more information on how you could acquire one for yourself if you do like it. And uh, as for, you know, Classics Optimus Prime, very awesome figure. I highly recommend this guy. Very cool. And I'd also like to remind you guys that, yes, we do have a new website, toysthemen.net. And it's full of blogs, uh, everything geeky for you that you're just trying to get a hold of. We got it on there. Our podcast links are to the right. Uh, you know, if you're looking for stuff, we may possibly have it for you. Just let us know. You can email us at toysthemen at gmail.com. And, uh, you know, anyway, just get back to me. Let me know what you think about the, the yellow on this figure. Like I said, if I could remove it, that would be great. And as for Top Gun and Toys the Men, out.